Yeah, it's the first time that I uh, fight someone with the big mouth as him. I'm uh, more motivated to win this fight than any fight of mine. Even as a kid growing up, I always thought of myself as an underdog. You know, it was, you know, I, I knew I was usually the smallest kid. You know, I got picked on a lot. But, you know, I, I knew if it came down to it, I could make things happen. Being an underdog to me means nothing at all. Because when the bell rings, there is no favorite underdog. You know what I'm saying? It's just two people fighting. I've been an underdog in everything I've done competitively because I feel like I've, I've had a late start and I made it against all odds, but I ain't made it to where I want to go. I have the opportunity to, to get to where I need to be. And that's the belt. I'm comfortable with doing whatever in the, in the cage. I train for all positions. Standing up, being on my back, being on top, defending submissions, applying submissions, kicks, all that. I train for it all, you know, like, I'm ready for whatever. If he wants to test my, my hands, I want to test him. If he wants to feel my power, I want to let him taste the power. Because if he gives me too much space, I'll knock him out. Gegard's experience, you know, um, helps with his confidence, you know, but it's not going to make a difference in this fight whatsoever. I, I knew from the first time watching him fight I was going to beat him. You know, I knew I was too quick for him, and that was the key. He couldn't hit me because I was too fast, so, so there's no worries here. <laughs> The fight with Kyle Moore was my ACL went out, you know, I tore it. It changed everything in the fight. I couldn't stand and, and throw punches like I wanted to because I was off balance. I was a one-legged fighter. I couldn't move like I wanted to because when I did, I, my leg would buckle. So, you know, uh, I, you know, I did my best to get the victory. Struggles make you a stronger person, especially when you fight through them. The more struggles I went through, the stronger I got, and the more I was willing to fight through them. You know, you just can't quit. This bitch. I think people underestimated um, what I could do. And they figured that I'd go in there and just get a decision and Mike White has durable and he, you know, he was saying that uh, his technique, stand-up wise, might be years ahead of mine. And I showed him, you know, his experience means nothing to me. And I knew that and I proved it to him with a knockout. Honestly, I don't know how Musashi would deal with an explosive fighter because he really is not fighting anybody explosive as myself. He can't prepare for me. I mean, he can do whatever he wants and try to get wrestlers to simulate how I wrestle but, or how I take people down, but it's not that easy. I'm an explosive type of wrestler with a good power series, and there are not too many wrestlers that wrestle with a lot of power like I do. So good luck trying to do that. You know, sometimes you have to let loose and be a kid and have fun, and that's what I do when I'm in the cage. Train hard, train smart, have fun, get your hand raised. It's, it's, a, it's a simple, you know, equation. There's no stress or pressure for, for this title shot because I'm looking at it like it's a video game. The feeling of being like, you know, fighting like you're in a video game, it's amazing. I feel like I'm playing a like shoot 'em up game or something like Doom or something, where I'm just seeing my opponent right in front of me and I can punch him. You see his two fists coming out. And then, you know, some kicks. And 
guys, you know, I'm, I'm the final level. I just gotta beat them, you know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't I beat the game. That's what it is to me. Man, I fought this fight in my head so many times, I can't even count it. Every three minutes, I stick to different scenarios and how I'm gonna overcome it. I do my ring walk and dance, walk in the cage, show my mouthpiece, DEP, and get my hand raised, that's it.